All right, we're live for the AT&T Byron Nelson preview. Uh, not, you know, not quite the event that we're hoping for, but I think both of us agree that the elevated event last week kind of didn't have much juice to it. So here, another event before the PGA. Where was the juice? No juice at all. Yeah, it was bad. It was it was bad. I mean, it was the first tournament that I really didn't watch or care to watch at all. Is it Quail Hollow? Is it the elevated events? Just being too many of them, and we're in major season now that the elevated events really don't mean shit anymore? Or do you think it was just like Quail is just meh, like a Tory kind of? I think it's all those things, um, but mostly it's the... Uh, the elevated event doesn't really have the juice that we thought it was going to. They just announced today. I don't know if he's, I sent you this article that Sports Illustrated wrote about next year. It's going to be no cuts. Um, so they're all be, of them. Yeah, including Tiger and Jack's one. I didn't. I didn't actually read it. I didn't have time to read it, but I sent it to you. I thought you would have. But um, the uh, yeah. So it's going to be even worse next year. It's really awful. Um, but this one. No juice. Uh, and a lot of people say it's because leaderboard. I don't even really care about the leaderboard. Like, I'm fine with, you know, a journeyman going against a couple established guys. But I think Xander's part of the problem. Oh, yeah. He'll put you to sleep. He's just a boring motherfucker. Um, you know, the space on the leaderboard and the, going into Sunday, there really wasn't too many guys who could actually win. I think there was basically two who really could win. Correct. You had JT kind of make a move where he's won his tournaments in in spots that he was at before, and he you kind of got a little bit excited, but then his his game's just not fully there. So yeah, he comes back to the field and on, on a hard golf course. And Quail doesn't do it for me. I don't like Quail at all. I didn't really like it during the Presidents Cup. I haven't liked it over the last few years. I just don't like the golf course that much. Um, I get it; it's a good course for, that could host majors and all that stuff, but just pretty bland. Yeah, agree. Agree on that big time. I don't know, man. The PGA has, they got to figure this out for next year. Well, it's going to be worse next year. So well, they got to figure out the actual, well, the tournaments are going to be worse, but they got to fin- figure out the sequence of the schedule. Yeah. You can't have them this close to majors. They should be spread out. But I mean, you have a major every month come April. So you got to have like, they had five and they have too many of them. They should it should just be eight. How many is it? And three and three of them should be the playoff events. Yeah, I agree with that. Or you should have none because the whole thing is it's fucking 12. stupid. That's true. You should have none. <laughs> <laughs> you really should have none. I mean, it, basically, it's like these are just the regular events they always were, except we're going to call them elevated and just give people a fuckload of money because Liv did that. And now we need to do it too. Yeah. Live is stupid and it sucks, but we're going to do the same thing because they did it. And we're not backed by Saudis. Yeah. We're, we're, playing, is... we're playing for legacy, not money, though. <laughs> yeah, well, our money's different, though. Our money has legacy with it. And, um, yeah, the small field, no-cut events isn't real golf, except we're going to do that now, too. <laughs> the, whole, the whole golf world, just a bunch of hypocrites. On oh, both so, sides, too. <laughs> yeah. And it, it, it's definitely true. And I kind of thought... Who's so, a better golfer, Taylor Gooch or Wyndham Clark? Because you, you saw the PGA <laughs> guys going going hard on Wyndham Clark being such a good golfer, just like the live guys are going hard on Taylor Gooch. In my opinion, they're basically the same fucking player. <laughs> yeah, they, I agree. And it's funny that, um, you know, I don't want to be... Call any individual people. I don't give a fuck, whatever. But people, like, were saying... Oh, of course, Wyndham Clark now wins. Now they're gonna try to make him a star and say he's better than what he is, and he's more than just a hot player. And da da da. Like, weren't wasn't everyone just doing that with Gooch two weeks ago? Yeah, I know winning two in a row is is better than you know is is more. But like, okay, Brendan Todd won three in a row. Is he? Yeah. Uh, uh, Clark's having a good year, but I mean, he's having actually having a really good year. No, he is, but he's not a budding superstar like they want to say he is. No, how old is he? Probably 32. Yeah. I guess. Good win for him. You have it? Or you look it up or no? Um, Looking it up. Yeah, Gooch. I mean, I'm sure there's some. 29. Okay. I'd say I'd say Gooch is probably a little better. 
Yeah, I think I'd agree. Um, but I don't think Gooch is like he's not a top ten or twenty player. He's I have him at thirty two. I'd probably put Clark at fucking thirty eight. Yeah, I mean Gooch is definitely done more in majors i think i'm not saying he's done a lot but he's definitely finished in the top 20 in majors before i don't think clark has a top 20 in a major i could be wrong but they shouldn't be letting him in the major um maybe they well they will uh, now yeah they will now so yeah just a guy guys just win sometimes it's just the way it goes it doesn't mean he's going to start his uh ascension to the top or he's going to have three more wins and none of that doesn't mean anything it just means he won an event that's it yeah there isn't more. Um, you hit a first round leader. Oh yeah, that's right. Hit a first Forgot round about leader. That. Felt like ages yeah. ago. Yeah, and it was actually great. I wrote it up, posted it. So, you know, I know, I know, I don't know if a lot of listeners took it or not. Actually, um, I know some did, but not many. Um, but hey, I posted it, so there it is. Nice, nice hit. Yeah, relatively small, but hey, t- Tommy at least gave me some money back that I poured into him all these years. Gave me a little back. Are you even on Tommy? Yeah. Yeah. Probably up now. Yeah. This one thirty six hundred. I don't think I probably put that much into him. No, no, I don't think we, I don't think we're there yet. Getting there. Yeah. (laughs) He played well. (laughs) What are you going to do? His ball striking is great right now. Uh, He was the, was uh, the major in New York, the one that he was on the lead. Wasn't that at um... Shinnecock? He almost won. Shinnecock. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I was on him that week. He, He stormed on Sunday. What were his odds? Oh, deep. No one really knew who he was at the time. He was like oh. 100, uh, over 100. Wow. Yeah, he but, shot 63 and had an 8-footer to shoot a 62. That would have got him in the playoff, and he, uh, of course he missed. Probably didn't even <laughs> sniff the hole. No, he didn't. <laughs> I remember it clear as day. Uh, um, yeah, I mean, you know what else? It doesn't even feel like a major's coming next week. There was a time when we were going into majors where it seemed like too many guys were playing so well. Now it feels like nobody's playing that well. Who was playing well? No, I, I mean, Rom, but he's not winning two in a row. Xander. Um, yeah, that guy's a stiff. Rom's not winning two in a row? You sure? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, I feel confident that he's not. Okay, so you got Rom. Brooks is playing well. Brooks is playing great. Should be the third favorite behind Scotty and Rom. Should be. Scotty's um, playing well, but not putting it. Yeah. I got a feeling next week could be if I'm worried about Scotty a lot lately for some reason. I'm too. I'm too. Um Rory that leads us to Rory. Oh my god. I watched this whole round on Sunday. Um because I bet him in a matchup over Young, which he won just because Young sucks. Uh, he won it like even par. Young was plus two, but he just, I think a lot of it was he's tinkering with the wedges. Okay. His wedge game was off really badly. Uh, I didn't look at the stats, but I would imagine he was decent off the tee and bad on approach. He was, he wasn't great off the tee. He was, uh, approach, he was like, he lost like three, I think. Um, yeah. Off the tee, I think he wasn't great. He was level, maybe, maybe gained less than one. Yeah, approach actually bad. lost, lost, lost point one. Approach lost three point three. Yeah, the wedges were awful. I know he's he's trying his new um, Rory grind, whatever he's doing. Um, I don't know, man. That guy has fucking problems. Serious mental issues. Serious. Serious. I was going into this into the I. I he was my pick for the PGA, and now there's just – is he playing like possum? Or what is he doing? I don't think he could be doing that. I just don't get it. Uh, I mean, could it be that he took three weeks off and was tinkering around with clubs, was not really playing that much? Something's got to be going on personal-wise that we don't know about, I think. Or it's all just finally hitting him. Yeah. That he's gone a decade without a major? Not that, but la- last year's goal. But that should have already hit him then, a decade without a major. That's that's pathetic. That's got to be just sitting in the back of his brain. Oh, I'd be thinking about it every night before I went to bed. I'd fucking, you know, you sometimes you stay up late at night, and that's when you think about any, any bad decision you ever made in your life. Yeah. That's what. That's the thing that comes to his mind every single time. Um, 
I'm the greatest golfer since Tiger Woods. I got four majors in three years, and now I haven't won one in a decade. <laughs> yeah. Fuck you, Phil, right? Phil is fucking yeah. more majors than you, more wins than you. But hey, and, I, and I, as I was watching this, I was actually thinking about this. Like I like I like Rory. I know it. I, I know we always shit on him. I like him too as a golfer. I think he's yeah. I I love watching him play. Like I watched this whole round and it was enjoyable, even though he wasn't in the hunt. Like all this stuff, I was like I like watching Rory play play golf. Um, and I it sucks. He's making he's forcing me to hate him. This is his fault, not mine, that he's doing this to me. <laughs> like, I don't want to hate you. Just stop saying dumb shit. Yeah. What happened to Cam Young? Too many IPAs. Too many IPAs uh, down at Too the many local stouts. at the local dive. Um, he was just ripping shots. Ob driver just blasting it. Yeah, driver went Ob a couple times, um, but he he was drilling pots too, and he still was bad. Like he was making like twenty footers. All the, I was like, he kept getting way out of position, then making like a twenty foot par. And I was like, I'm gonna lose this matchup because this guy keeps drilling pots. But I don't know if that guy can win a major right now, or maybe you know what you know what else it could be. Um, he could be the type of guy when he's not in contention just to kind of say fuck it. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. So I'm I'm not entirely. I I still like the forty to one. Um. Yeah, sure. We already bet it. Sure. I guess I like it. Probably won't win though. Um. Let's see. What did he do before majors last year? He was great in all the majors, right? Yeah, he was good in all of them. Well, besides the Masters, where he missed the cut. And then he was third, second at Wells, third at the PGA. So he was showing form there. Yeah. Then missed cut at the U.S. Open, missed cut at the Genesis, Scottish Open, and then second at the Open. Okay. Only thing about the Open is it allows you to spray it a bit at there at St. Andrews. That's why you saw Cam up there. Yeah, you ain't spraying it here. Yeah. So we'll see. I don't know. It, maybe he's less popular and he's not the flavor of the week. I know, I know a lot of people probably already have futures, but he probably drifts close. What's he going to be, 33 to 1? Yeah, 33. Just bet Brooks, guys. Yeah, bet Brooks. <laughs> uh, he's, yeah, he's playing great. Who else uh, is playing good? I mean. There's like no one playing good. I mean, Spieth, he's not doing the career grand slam. Nope. Um, X and Cantley, more cows playing like dick. That guy can't putt for shit. He's fucked up too. Oma can eat shit. I don't know what's happened to Vic lately. These Sundays have just been bad. The last two two uh, tournaments. Yeah. Fino playing well, but I don't know. It's gonna. It. it I can't setting, bet anybody, man. <laughs> no, it's it's setting up for a major where it's one of those ones where like it's bunched and there's going to be like some journeyman around. There's going to be like, you could get a, and the PG is the one where you can get maybe a guy who's a little bit outside of the, you know, direct box of people you think would win a major. Tommy. I was thinking about him. I mean, he should be 70 to one though. He's 65. Yeah. I mean, it's with the way we're constructing our card. If we had Brooks and all that stuff, like, I think he could be in the range of of the numbers. Some of you can add. Is he going to win? No. No, that's the problem. Same with Ricky. Yeah. Not a good week for Ricky, but just another. What he finish? Fifteenth. It's just like hey, his whole season. Is no finishes worse than twentieth? No finishes better than tenth. Yeah. Um. You know, should we talk about the shitty event now? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to say that. They sent me a care package. It was very nice. Oh yeah, what'd you get? Uh, I got a nice laptop case, um, a phone, a uh, portable phone charger, a shirt, a couple pins, a uh, golf towel. Oh, the least they can do for this shit, yeah. shit event that they put together. And, you know, last year we had Spieth. Um, oh, Spieth's back to 10 to 1 on uh, DraftKings. So we had Spieth at, last year. He came in second. So they owe me for him not winning, too. We were on Spieth last year? Yeah. A little foreshadow. We're going to be on him again. <laughs> yeah. He was 22 to 1 last year. Really? I don't know why. He was coming off a win. No way. Yeah. I don't know. 
I even my, I, re, I reread my preview just to see what I said, and it was like, I think there's a mistake of what this number is. I don't know why it's 22 to 1. Wow. He literally just won a week ago. Yeah, the Heritage. Yeah. I don't think he likes playing Wells. He never played it before. Right. That's, that's You can't take much into it considering he's never played it before, never plays it. And yeah. then he, he was in great form, like fourth, second, third, his last three – last three starts so i mean i think he's uh i think he's fine fowler should be here fowler should be here before you get any course preview he should be I here i don't know why he thinks he's too good for these events he's never shown up to the events that he can actually win he's only playing the big events so he's not i don't know he's i don't know what it is i mean i get it maybe now that's major season he wants to not play three in a row and that's what well, he does wind goes but... a long way though look at fina it does no a win would be huge for him, but all right, we're at TPC Craig Ranch. The last it used to be at uh, Trinity Forest in Dallas. The place was a complete dog track. Uh, players complained, didn't like it, so now they're at uh, TPC Craig Ranch, which I don't know. Birdie fest, right? Last year was a birdie fest. Uh, par 71, 7,414 yards. Uh, they're changing par four twelve, tw- par five twelve to a par four, so that should make it a little bit, you know, somewhat tougher in terms of score. Um, they have a little stadium hole like the TPC S- Scottsdale hole, the par three seventeenth. It's really short though. Um, some drivable par fours. Um, the field isn't great. It's not bad. It's not as really as bad as I thought it was going to be. It's not as good as it was last year. But again, there was no, you know, the schedule was a little bit different last year. The last two winners here have been KH Lee, won it both times, 25 under 2021, 26 under in 2022. Um, 2020 was canceled to COVID. 2019 was at Trinity Forest, but Sung Kang won. So you got three straight Korean winners, South Korean winners. Um, Aaron Wise has won this event, different course, Billy, Sergio. That pussy's back this week. He is. I couldn't believe it. <laughs> How do you take the Masters off if you're going to play four weeks later at the Byron Nelson? <laughs> it's like, dude, just play the Masters and skip the Byron Nelson. And if you're going to be the heel that quick. Oh, he'll be happy. Just walking around Augusta for two days. Four days, he can't practice rounds. Right. So, I don't know. Um, How many times are you going to get a chance to go to Augusta? It doesn't happen every year for these guys. No, it's like his only ever chance. Like you don't have to win it, just go on the grounds and just enjoy yourself. Yeah, then if you're gonna skip it, like you can't play four weeks later, you're gonna take like three months off. What a fucking pussy! Yeah, it's just the the current athlete, just kind of the way it goes. And um, and again, the, this goes back to the Rory thing too, with like his reason for withdrawing at Heritage. Uh, Heritage, yeah, Heritage. Um, and look, I get mental health is a real thing, but. It's the umbrella. Is, of it? Men- is it a real thing? For some people, yeah. I, I know a guy who fucking <laughs> dropped, you know, um, there's, there's definitely people out there have serious mental health issues, but you can have bad days and bad weeks and be sad. That's all part of life. That's, uh, you know, um, and sometimes you just got to put your big boy britches on. That's all that matters. Sometimes you do. Sometimes you do. Uh, and I think, in the year that we live in um mental health is the umbrella of what falls under mental health has become so big that it's almost becoming a cop-out for a lot of people um by the way i have have a master's degree in education in health and wellness so i'm not talking out of my ass here um i think you're saying it's become so big it's become a crutch Exactly. And it's easy for people to use that as a crutch and to bail out. And it doesn't mean that the, some of these issues aren't real. It doesn't mean that some people struggle with things, but there's a difference between sadness and depression, which I think some of the younger generation doesn't get. Um, sadness is an emotion. Depression is a condition where you you know, your body doesn't create, create enough serotonin and your brain doesn't. So like, and I think they're being conflated a bit. And I think Rory thought if I just say mental health, nobody's going to question me about it. Um, unless this, unless this guy really has something going on, like, man, I don't think so, but maybe same for wise. I don't know. But if you had to ask me, I'd probably say probably just going through some shit, man. Like we all do. 
I think Rory's been uh, playing too much with Brooks and Team Smash and Wolf. He's got a case of the sads. Yeah. Yeah, I think he has a case of the sads. All right, so what else for a course preview? Anything? Trinity I mean, Forest. Remember that shit? Wise fucking stole my Leishman bet at Trinity Forest. What a fucking scumbag. What was that, 2017? Yeah. 18, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, I know. Another, I just remember the, another bird fest. The players complained about that course a lot. Yeah, it was built on a fucking, uh, like a trash facility. Yeah, it's not great. It's like reeked. Um, some long par threes. Uh, yeah, I don't know, man. The course is really just pretty, pretty damn easy. You gotta be yeah, able to get so we're getting. Uh, you gotta get over twenty. Yeah, definitely over 20. I mean, but if you look at a par 5 to a par 4, they're changing one par 5 to a par 4. That shaves, what, two strokes, three strokes off the winning score? Yeah, probably. So you're looking at 21 under, 22 under? Okay. I mean, that's better than 25 at least. It's funny, but it's just like just one par four instead of a par five. So like if they make a par par on it, it would have been a birdie before, but I hate when it's a birdie, but it's the same, same fucking thing. <laughs> <laughs> just look at the same shot, just a different number. Um, yeah. But hey, yeah, it's perception's reality. So yeah, birdie fest. Um, the Koreans have really excelled. Asians yeah, love they Texas. All, they all live it. Yeah. I wonder why that is. Just flocked in. Looks like they're getting some rain. Wednesday, Thursday. Not mm-hmm. enough to be a factor, though. Could make it a little soft. I mean, the course isn't short. Actually, an inch of rain on Saturday, maybe. Mm. Hopefully it doesn't impact the tournament. I, I mean, hopefully it makes it tougher, but it doesn't make it delayed. I don't know about wind or anything. I haven't looked that far down the road. Yeah, fuck it. I don't really have much interest in this, man. So I bet one guy at the top, um, just basically, there's two good players, two great players. Consider, well, Scheffler a great player, and then the next tier is Jordan, and then I don't think there's anybody in Jordan's class after that. No. Right? You mean the get, next, like, five guys? No, you get Decky, who, I mean, I guess technically could be, but he's been off, you know, off and stuff going on with him. Yeah. So I'm not betting Scheffler at four to one. Spieth in Texas. I've gone to the 10 to 1 route many times, been close. We had the second at Colonial, second here. Um, he was second at, or he won the Valero. I think the year before that, he was second at the Valero, right? Yep. One of these events. I don't know. Um, so I don't know. I bet the 10 to 1 this morning. Yeah, me too. I'm happy with the 10 to 1. Right. You could take, I just think there's two choices this week. Do you want to take Spieth at 10 to 1, or do you want to take, Six guys at sixty plus, and hope you pick the right one. Right, but I I scrolled the board and I just don't know what six I would take. No, what, I don't like, either. Who am I? Who do I have confidence in here? And like, like, do I have confidence in fucking Hollywood Hoagie or Steven Yeager? No. Or Benny Ann uh, Hadwin. No. Joey Bramlett sixty five to one. Yeah, it doesn't make yeah. It, I agree. I agree. I just think it's the right best move, best speed, ten to one. He'll he's gonna be there. You'd think. He's, I'm pretty sure he's gonna be there. I like. He, I I almost like he's coming off the miscut. Um, you mentioned earlier last year he's been really good coming off miscuts. Uh, and I just think he's gonna make him like. He's, All right, I gotta get back into form for the PGA. I'm not gonna like just miss two cuts in a row leading into that, especially in an event that I've already played well, ninth and second in his two trips here. Um. I think top 10 is a lock. I don't see any possible way it comes out of the top 10. I really just don't. Wow, you're locking it up? You're locking it up. Wow. Um, also, plus he likes, he wants to win these uh, Texas events. It means something to him. Definitely. And he, he's been, what, the third or fourth best golfer this year? He hasn't won yet. I think he's been, it's been Rom, Scotty. And then you either got Cantley or Spieth. I agree. Right? Consistent. Maybe Xander now with another second place finish. I mean, th- those. 
of the three guys. I agree with that. And Spieth, um, I can see it too being like, all right, now he comes, he dominates in Texas, he wins. Now there's another storyline going into next week. Cause you get that Rory's not playing well. Like I can just see that being a storyline. Oh, and now I'm going to say, oh, he's going to win the, the grand slam. And he's going to suck. <laughs> yeah. Um, so like he hasn't lost on approach. Um, since the Pebble, Pebble Beach Pro Am in February, and the v- week after that, he so he finished third at Pebble Beach, lost two point three. Week after that, he had his best balls, uh, best approach um, of the year, eight point four waste management, finishing sixth. Wow! And then he had, he's he's gained every single tournament, and gained pretty pre- a pretty good amount every single tournament until Wells. Wells is not something he typically usually plays. I think he's played it one, one other time. Um, and obviously this, this year he's forced to play it. Um, so I, I, I don't really take the miscut and like, is it a bad thing? No, like it's concerned fine. about his stats. It's more of no. a long iron course. This is, this is shorter, right? Yeah. I mean, you can get some longer irons, but it's just, yeah, I don't think this, it's really comparable to Quail whatsoever. Um, and I think, like you said, he doesn't play it for a reason. If he thought he was going to go out there and win the Wells Fargo every year, he would be playing it. Hey, this is his first Texas event. He skipped the uh, the other one because of the schedule. Yeah, the crowd is going to be behind him. I don't know. I feel better about getting Jordan Spieth in the mix than picking five guys and having one of them in the mix. Yeah. And that's all I want. Someone, someone in the mix. Look at these finishes before the what miss cut. Second, fourth, third, fourth, sixth. Nineteenth of the players. He does not play the players well at all. I mean, that's positive. Did you think Great we'd season? Get a, do you think we'd get a better number this week? I was hoping for double digits. Once I saw the ten, I was just like, all right, I'm just going to bet this because I don't want to bet anybody else. And I don't really give a fuck about this tournament. Got a major next week. We also have the live event this week, so I'll just be underexposed on this tournament, bet some live guys, and hopefully get a double winner. If Jordan doesn't win, then I can, whatever. I can live okay. with it. Um, if he comes in eighth at, at Quail, what's his odds this week? Eight? Yeah, seven. Okay. So, I mean, you guess you get a little bit of a discount here. Or maybe Scotty's odds come up, rise a little, and it's like... Scotty's not four, and he's like six, and speeds eight. Scotty hasn't been great here, huh? I was like fifteenth and forty seventh. Yeah, um, yeah, forty seventh and fifteenth. Speed ninth and second. Some other course history guys. Obviously, Lee won both times. You got Seamus Power, who was ninth and seventeenth. Yeah, I mean, I don't want it. fuck it. Speed, speed. All right, we're in. All right, I'll just go down the board here real quick so we have something to talk about. Um, all right. Hatton, 14, Day, 16. Tom Kim is now 18. KH Lee, 22, and Hideki, 22. Hideki number is very fair. Um, if you bet Hideki, I, I, don't, I don't hate I, uh, He's got the neck thing. The number is fair, but I don't believe he's going to win. Um, the other guy, would, if I wasn't going to bet speed, I'd probably start with Tom Kim. Showed some life last year. Been living in Dallas. Get the Korean thing. I don't know. I, just, I don't see him winning, though. Um, I think he could probably win. I think, yeah. I like him second best out of all these guys. Hideki, you're right, is a fair number. Um, has been good here. Has been good in Texas. Has been good the week before majors in Texas, right? He almost won. Um, what was that, the Houston Open? Yep. Um, before the Masters when DJ won. Uh, so, yeah, I think health, health-wise, health it's just you never know the guy. You never know. You can't trust him. So I can't bet a guy, in the even at 22, which is a decent number, you can't bet a guy where you can't trust him. When you get him a big event, he's 45-50, and you can't trust him, okay, you roll the dice. But not at 2020. It takes too much of a financial investment. Um, yeah. Tom, I agree, has a pretty good – chance i think i'd put him second behind speed i'm gonna put him in my one and done i don't have speed so i'm gonna play tom um oh he played be... this last year i didn't know that what did he finish 17th yeah so pretty good uh he's a korean 
right? The Koreans have done incredibly well here. Um, and it's a place where, you know, I feel like he's done well on a lot of courses out of the Birdie Fest. Oh, yeah. Shrine as they put him up. Yeah, Wyndham, you get up there. Probably was he 19, 20 under, so. Yeah, he was 20. Yeah, so I, I think it's a good spot for him. Yeah, if I wasn't betting Spieth, he'd probably be where I would go, but I like Spieth better. All right, not, cool. If we're going to be underexposed, it doesn't really matter if one's 10 and one's 16. They can whichever one you want anyway. Right. It's a deal with day. I, don't know, I can't imagine betting that fucking guy at 16 to 1. No, but what he missed the cut last week on the number. What happened? He was like two under with like four holes left. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, fucked me out of some DK lineups. He did a mine too. I I didn't know he was two under with a couple holes left. Yeah. He was playing with Rory. Well, that's what happened then. <laughs> I forgot about that. And just fucking sadness bringing down the room. It's the guy who walks in and everyone's having fun, but you're going to feel guilty about ha- having fun around him because you know how much his life sucks. <laughs> so, God, everyone yeah. just fucking act cool. He's Rory's here. Hey, Rory, your life doesn't suck that bad. You could have vertigo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, um, I don't know that's if he's all right. Like two, uh, well, the disaster at the Masters and then this. I don't know. Maybe he's just uh, starting to be out of form. I think he has a mental hurdle about being good. Yeah, I think he's, he started sniffing that being good again. And I think his m- mind just started creating ailments in his body. Yeah, I can see that. Makes a lot of sense. That's what I feel like is happening with him. Like he, he He's just getting so close to where he's like, there has to be some. What's the next thing that's going to happen to me? And then it, your your the brain is a fucking powerful thing, right? No, nope, exactly. I agree with you. Uh, next range, thirty plus. Here's some guys like you could start your card with. Um, you got Cooch thirty, Scott thirty, Siwoo thirty five. Yeah. For some reason, uh, this guy Taylor Montgomery is forty. He's a, just an awful golfer. I told you guys all he was a fucking terrible golfer. Um, back at the beginning of the season when you all wanted to bet him at 22 to one, he's just not a good golfer. And I told you that a million times. The guy sucks. He sucks. Sucks. And why is it 40 to one still? He's lost strokes on approach in four consecutive events, lost strokes T to green in seven consecutive events. Um, even when we're so excited about Taylor Montgomery this season. Oh my God. Disgusting. (laughs) People, some people that have some certain takes on the Twitters should have to delete their account for some shit they've said. Ugh, gross. Uh, Montgomery's a 28-year-old loser. <laughs> who he's got one skill set. When that, when that goes away, he's just awful. Yeah, he's Denny McCarthy. Yeah, even but, Denny's, he's like a poor man's Denny McCarthy. Yeah, Denny will have some hot iron weeks. Yeah. By hot, you mean gain 3.2. Yeah. Anyways, Cooch, Scott, Siwoo, those those guys, Um, I think those guys could win. Yeah, I mean, if you weren't betting it near the top, you could just bet those three guys. Yeah. What's Siwoo done? Siwoo, 55th and miscut. Yeah. His thing with Siwoo, he won. I just don't think he can win two times. I think he's a one-win-a-year guy. Yeah, he already won. On the yeah. yeah. And then Scott came from the clouds last week. I don't know if this event has the juice for him to uh, do it two weeks in a row. And plus, I think he gained a lot of putting. I played a lot of them last week. I thought it could be a pretty good bounce back spot. Um, but he played pretty well in the area, hasn't he? Yeah, he's won Colonial, I think, before. 32nd last year. Yeah, I don't think he's going to win, but he could finish in seventh. Yeah. Cooch is great here. Both times he's played here. Um, I would definitely be betting him if I wasn't betting the top 17th and 12th. Then at Valero, he was right in the mix when we were on him. Uh, I just think he likes playing in Texas. Yeah, he does. The problem is, I think his ball striking numbers were bad. Last week or since Texas? Since that Texas event that we were on him. Scott gained 4.5 on approach. Did he? 
that's his best approach week in a while since uh, June, since Memorial. Bet him at the PGA, baby. <laughs> Just kidding. Don't do that. <laughs> eh, you should do it. No. Play him, though. Yeah, Cooch lost 4.7 at Wells. Jesus. Finished 23rd, though. I gained, been five around the, gained five around the green and six putting. I mean, Valero, we were on him at Valero. That was a great bet. He finished in third, gained 7.6 on approach. Yeah, it was a great bet. I mean, fuck. Yeah. yeah he, if we weren't on speed, yeah, I, I'd bet Cooch. Who else? I, although I don't think he can get to 20 under, so. What was the Valero number? 15. Yeah, that one plays a tiny bit tougher, which is why I thought we... It was more palatable for us to be on him. That's kind of the max. Actually, you know, Cooch won. Sony. This, that, this was five years ago, though. <laughs> yeah. And he's aged 20 years in those five years. Yeah, this guy's a dog. I love him. I love him. A um, uh, couple other guys, 40. You got Seamus Power, Minwoo Lee, Mav McNeely, Hollywood Hoagie. Anything there? Fuck no. Uh, Cooch was 22 under at um, Sony, but the second place was 18 under. Wow, he was great. Yeah, but that was like in 2018, right? 2019, four years ago. Yeah. It's not bad. What about Seamus? Did you ever think 20, you'd think at 20, of 2019 has been a long time ago? I know. Crazy. <laughs> Man, fucking time. Uh, Seamus. Yeah, I like Seamus. Good course history. Played really well last week at, um, at Wells. He would be probably on my four or five man card if I was if I was building one in that way. What's what is his odds? Forty here. I saw fifty earlier. I think fifty is a pretty good number. Yeah. If he what did he win earlier? Uh, let me just double check. I want to see what he um. He went to the barber saw. He went to type in Daniel Berger. Why? I don't know. It's all the way back. Man, what's going on with him? Back issues. Yeah, I'm not saying he's gonna be. The saying he's gonna be back though, and uh, he's he's been posting stuff, swinging swing stuff. Yeah, Seamus won the Butterfield Bermuda at 19 under. Okay. And he won Barbasol. When was that? At 20, 21 under in 2021. Beat JT Post in a playoff. Oh well. Yeah, so I think he can probably get there. I like him, maybe drafting play or something, but. All right, no Minwoo, right? No. Okay. Um, I don't really want to keep naming names because these are usually the names that we name or we don't name that are usually 200 to 1, so. Yeah, no, I have no no um, reason to for that, but I. Huh. Yeah, I guess we'll just call, pick some guys. Or a guy. A guy. It's the only other guy I bet. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, my first thought, even last week, for some reason I've been thinking about this guy for the last couple of three or four weeks. And some of you guys might have seen on, on Twitter, I responded to um, one of his tweets where he said he was hurt his back or something. And I was like, so I should take you out of my lineups this week. And I someone replied and I'm like, why the fuck was he in your lineup to begin with? <laughs> 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 and at that point there was no real reason as to why he was i played him at the uh at the zurich the week before he was like all right they finished like in 33rd or something um and then we i played him at i don't remember where it was but he ended up playing really well um kind of faded over the weekend but played well and then last week he finishes in seventh at his best ball striking week of his career including the week that he won the john deere classic like at 28 under I remember that was one of the, that was one of the biggest anomalies in golf, man. I can't believe that shit. But I, I love him this week. I, I think he's gonna win. You think he's the winner? Yeah. What For are your the reasons? Winner? Okay, so last two winners, Cage Lee, born in Seoul. Did you name Korea. the guy? Michael Kim. Michael yeah, Kim. I oh, yeah, you yeah. Named him. <laughs> no, I didn't name him. Michael Kim. Okay, so born in Seoul, South Korea. Same place Cage Lee was born. One, two in a row. I know we talked about this earlier. He wasn't raised in South Korea. I don't think raised... it's apples to apples, man. He's a Morikawa. No, he's not. 
He's not, dude. Morikawa's parents' probably names are fucking Cheryl and Steve. Okay, this guy's mom's name is Son, and his dad's name is One, or something like that. <laughs> I actually looked up Morikawa's mother's name was Debbie. <laughs> exactly. Okay, that's my point. That is my point. Oh, you're only gonna say it to me if you if it if it went along with what you were saying. <laughs> So now you hey, it doesn't fucking him. matter at this point. I already bet him. <laughs> yeah. So that's the difference. Because, you you know, he might not be um, growing up in the streets of Seoul, South Korea. But when he walks in that front door, it's fucking South Korea. Right? I mean, <laughs> yeah, more, Google him. <laughs> yeah, more, more car was drinking fucking lattes from Starbucks. This guy's scrubbing the floors. Okay, so. Yeah. I was just more saying he grew up in California, like Morikawa, and he was a prolific amateur golfer like morikawa yeah he's not fucking out smoking doobies like morikawa <laughs> he's is he he's like uh he's a you know so like culturally is what i'm saying yeah um you know and i think same thing move to texas a lot of these south so if he's just a california guy why is he moving to texas for the rest of the asians that fucking are from korea <laughs> i'm with you man i know he's no i, know I want an answer to that uh, i don't know Maybe that's where his friends are. Would make sense. But I think Colin's friends are probably like Californians. He lives in Vegas. He hangs out with um, Kitty Yama. Does he? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'm, this isn't, you know, I'm honestly curious of why these guys tend to roll together, even when they grew up and been raised in, you know, areas that are diverse and all, yeah. It's interesting. The um, Asian golf scene. Is yeah, something. <laughs> it's interesting. I, mean, I just, honestly, genuinely, have really a lot of questions about it. I'd like to talk about it with somebody who might know. So if you know <laughs> you have any uh, intel on this on the situation, uh, send me a DM. Um, but yeah, so Korean. Um, you know, it's not like this guy's a, you know a nobody. He's a former Haskins Award winner. Uh, he was the first player from Cal to win that award in 43 years. Cal like more Cal. There you go. Um, Won the Nicholas Award, was Walker Cup player, was on the team with Justin Thomas and Max Homa. Um, was yeah, right hard. Fucking owned Homa's ass in college, too. Yeah. They played they play on the same team. Kim was the second ranked player, and Homa was like the 14th or something. Yeah. Um, so he's a guy with a lot of pedigree. And again, it's not like he's 35, he's still 28. Yeah. So he's he still has the potential. One in 2018 could win a birdie fest. Now, like, what if just what if he's a late bloomer? What if he's a guy who's at 28, like, you know, 10, 20 years ago, that wasn't that crazy of a thing for a guy to be coming into their own at 28 years old in the PGA Tour? No, no, for sure. He's been on the comeback trail for a while now since last summer. He was he played the Corn Ferry great last summer, and now it seems he's he's just putting it all together. And that I think the seventh last week, the great ball striking numbers lives in Texas as a place where Koreans win. Um, has won a birdie fest. I just think all the signs point to him playing really, really well this week. And I, I honestly think he's the winner. Yeah, that is a good performance last week, huh? Seventh in a big boy event. Yeah, it was great. And then I, I mean, I, he was on my radar like three or four weeks. I don't know what it is, but there's some, I was like, I think I should play Michael Kim. I don't know why. And they just, he started to play a little better and a little better. And he replied to me and said, "I would." He said, "I would have taken myself out of the lineup too, but I just played good." Like, and I said to you, "Is like these guys never know when they're going to play well." Yeah. If you want to know if a player is going to play well, don't ask them because they'll tell you the wrong answer. Even with Travis Smythe, when I was talking to him, like the week when he qualified for the Open when he was playing in um, Hong Kong, he was like, "He's like, I thought I was going to play so bad that week. He's like, I felt like absolute fucking dog shit. I was like, almost puking on the course. I felt so shitty." Wow. All right, so he's down to 75 now. You got, a nine, you got a 90. Got a 100. Bet a 100. Did you bet a 100? I bet a 100 three different times, 100 bucks each. Where? Um, 100 uh, bucks each. Fuck you. <laughs> 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 yeah, fuck. <laughs> uh, um, I got a 100 on the back end site. And I bet a hundred on where was it? Anyways, I'd bet the eighty at least. Just for the oh, listeners. Oh, a hundred on on slip. It was eighty one when I went and looked. I bet a hundred first thing it came out. Why didn't you warn me? I, I thought you would have known. <laughs> it's 
playing with my dick this morning, I guess. Oh, yeah. I think I texted. Oh, yeah. I, I said slip out, but it was during a busy time in my, in my schedule. So I just was firing. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I, I I stand to win a great deal of money if this comes through. <laughs> I double dipped a little bit. Did you? 80 and 90, though. Yeah, just fucking keep betting it. It's like if it's a small card anyway, might as well win a million bucks if he wins. Yeah. I bet it on DK this morning. What was that, 90? It was 80. Yeah, I bet it's only I got times. It. Yeah, there's nobody else I really want to bet. So, yeah. I'm in on Michael Kim. Um, the only other, other guy getting love around here was Jimmy Walker, Texas guy, showing some form. But I don't think I'm going there. No. I did bet the top five on Mike Kim, too. Where's that? I probably shouldn't have done it. He told me not to do it on DK, but I just did. Uh, I just went with it. <laughs> 16 nah, to 1. <laughs> no, nah, they'll fuck you, man. They're going to fuck me? Dude, I had to take a T3, and they cut it like four ways. It's like, Jeez. how do I get paid on this bet? What do I have to do to get paid on this bet? Unbelievable. Yeah, I fucked up. What are you going to do? Um, but I don't get that shit. I know I get people, I know people have explained it to me before and I understand it. Well, I, I don't understand it because when people explain it to me, I block my ears. I don't want to know the right answer. I just want to know if my guy comes tied for third and I have a top five, the bet wins. What was he tied for third with like seven guys? That's yeah, bullshit. that's bullshit. He finished in the top five. He's a T3. That's what he is. Like so fucking stupid. This other side doesn't even have Michael Kim listed. So I don't know. Bet him to win a million bucks. That's what I say. Anything on Jim Walker? Yeah, I I think it makes a lot of sense playing some good golf. Is he going to get to twenty two under? I don't know. Probably not. Not a bet. What is he? A hundred and ten? Yep. Yeah, it's, it's fine. Sure. Yeah, I get no interest. I'm not. I don't really like Jimmy Walker. I don't either. Not a big fan. I don't like. I knew one other guy who had Lyme disease, and he was fucking disgusting. So I don't know if that. <laughs> If that correlates, I don't think so, but I don't know. Something about him just makes me feel like he's dirty and lives in the woods. Yeah, Lyme disease is a real disease. Is it? Yeah, wife had it. No, I know it's real, but like... Yeah, it fucks people up. How do you get it? Ticks. So why was a guy getting so many ticks? It doesn't matter how many ticks you get. It's, <laughs> you get a tick. <laughs> Take a dog for a walk, you get a tick. That's fucked up. And it causes you disease that fucks your life up? Yeah, it's fucked. How long does the thing Ticks last? Ticks are deadly. Ticks are deadly. How long is how long does Lyme? They, I don't know how long. It can be last years, I think. Was it one of those things where like it knocked him out for six months and it kind of put his career like, you know, kind of, or what, did it really last? It like three years months. he was out. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I guess gotta I got to look into this. Treated and everything, I think. Yeah, sorry if my, uh, you know, my um, lack of, knowledge on the subject i gotta look deeper into this he could before he I does look, he does again. look like a dirty fuck though just looking at his face <laughs> yeah looking at him i was like i don't know like that combined with Lyme, like i feel like he lives in a tent in the woods and that's why he got lyme disease i think it really bothers me that he won a pga championship from day yeah that's not right no it pisses me off that he won a major it's one of those ran- like, yeah maybe this pga is one of those and that's kind of what i was talking about but yeah um, I got no, nobody else here. CT Pan's back. My dad just texted me this. Do you know Secretariat had a heart that weighed 22 pounds? The average weight for a horse's heart is eight, eight or nine pounds. Do you think he was on roids? Definitely. Yeah, he's definitely on roids. He's got a fucking heart three times the size of a regular horse. Have you heard about that? No, but I'm sure he was on roids. Aren't they all? Wow. I didn't know that. I see another thing I don't know. Oh, yeah. Shoot them all up. They were all dying last weekend. Just dying after the race? No, it was before the races. You didn't see that? Like seven How is of horse... them. They had to put down. <laughs> of all the things you can't do in 2023, I'm shocked horse racing is still a thing. <laughs> Aren't Big you? money. Big money. You can just fucking race the horses till they die? <laughs> just throw money a... at it? I got they... this one. As soon as they break a leg, you, got... you just shoot them. <laughs> Fucked. So, pretty awful bring him, stuff. Bring him to the glue factory. Jeez. Um, okay. What else? 
I get not I get nothing. No, we don't have to pretend to talk about stuff. All right. Um Where do you, you know the winners? It's either Cam or it's either Cam or Spieth. I don't know which one, but it's one of the two. All right. So we got one of the winners is on the two man card that we're posting. Yes. Okay. Are we being lazy about this event? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I think, yeah, definitely. But I mean, at least we're being honest. You know, a lot of people take weeks off. We don't take weeks off. We're just giving you what we got. This is what I, I mean, we're being lazy in a way, but also I just think it's also smart because I just think speed's going to be there and the other guys, you're who the fuck knows. Yeah. Um, and then you have Liv Tulsa trying to get as much information as I can on it. Uh, you got Ben Grass Greens. Um, Bermuda Fairways, I think they just did a redesign maybe five years ago. They took out a lot of trees and they took out a lot of bunkers. So it seems like it might be a bomb, bomb and gouge type of event. Uh, par 70, I think it's like 70, 200 yards. So pretty, pretty long. Um, top two favorites are Gooch and Brooks. I don't think there's anyone else below 10, was there? Cam was like 11. Yeah. It's like the same odds every week. Yeah. I'm not ready to bet the event yet, to be honest with you. I need to get more information. Um, looking at a few guys, but I don't, I don't know. I mean, Mito, just thinking about the uh, PGA at Southern Hills, which is right in the same area um, as this event, as this course, Cedar Creek. His odds just haven't moved the entire season. He's 18-1 to 1 every week. He's fifth in Singapore. He's got a, two other top sixes. He's having a decent year. Leads leads the tour and greens and rag on the season. I don't know. Don't love 18. You can get DJ at 15, I think, which I don't know. We've been riding DJ. Might as well just bet him and just hope, I guess. I don't know. It's a lot of money just to bet a guy and hope. <laughs> I know. <laughs> you know, I don't know. You, you know. got 300 on Michael Kim at fucking 100 to 1. <laughs> what the fuck do you get? <laughs> yeah, but that, that means I'm going to need 1,500 on DJ. Yeah. I hear you. Um. Yeah, I don't really know. I don't know. That's why I don't. I can get into live. I don't know the courses. That's the one week I was excited. I wrote a preview. I was all about it with Singapore because we knew the course. Yeah, it's so, so I, hard. I look for previews, and they're all they all say the same shit. Welcome to live, Oklahoma. You have Charles Howell, Peter Uline, Taylor Gooch. They all went to Oklahoma State. Fucking and you have Abe, Abe, Abe answer went to Oklahoma. I'm like, okay, every single one of you guys have, have wrote, written about this. Like, I get that they went there. Like, give me something about the course. Yeah, Liv is just in its infancy in so many ways. And it makes it difficult to bet. I don't, that's why I don't like it. I mean, Wolf's a decent number, but I think he's back to playing awful golf. Does that 28? matter? I don't know. He was 28 on a bomber's track. I mean, that's that's something I'm intrigued by, right? Yeah. Yeah, I think Singapore was more of an iron course, you know? Yeah, I was betting Wolf early in the season, but now I wish he was just playing while I bet him. That's nothing that sucks about the, the elevated events and live, is that it's like the same odds with the same odds board every week. Yeah. When you get a random mix of people, you never know what the odds are going to be. That's part of the excitement. Yeah, definitely. Check morning. It's like, oh, now this guy, this guy's playing a one. He's going to be, oh, it's a good number. I was expecting this. Now live in the elevated events. Oh, just copy and paste. Same odds every single time. Yeah. What about line? Fuck you, line. No, it sucked too. Same with He's another guy. Line. Everyone wants to fucking suck the guy's dick. Yeah, it was, just, it was more of the Oklahoma State thing. No, I know he's playing well. He's, yeah, cool. cool. And if he wins, cool. I don't give a fuck about that either. Yeah. So I don't really know what to do there. Do you have well, any Phil? Well, any Phil? Not, Phil? I think Reed's stats are really good last week. I got high hopes for Reed next week. I love him next week. Yeah, just get us to next week. I don't know. I don't give a fuck about this. I just want to see Phil, Brooks, Reed play some good golf heading in and DJ more, most importantly, play some good golf because we, we're locked into that DJ number. There's no cash out. Just we got it. We got it. Um, I just want to see those guys play some good golf. I don't really know who's going to win. I yeah, actually, care. DJ's the our biggest uh, 
Yeah, we need DJ to show something this week. We do. Like, I don't necessarily care, really. I can't see myself watching too much of it, but... Maybe me, though. Bryson's 53 started to show some things. What about Neiman? Bentgrass? He's 15. That's the thing about Live. Like, you're not getting discounts when guys aren't doing what they should be doing. Neiman, 1570. Wolf, 2880. Chakaria? He's Oklahoma State guy. Yeah, 77 or something. What was his stats last week? They were pretty he, good. He was up there, right? Yeah, he, he was solid. Um, he, but just in general, he's been really bad this year. Where the fuck is Kokrak, 28? I don't know, the whole thing is fucked up. Louis, 35? I don't know. Is Eugenio going to be the second guy to win? Third, uh, guy, second guy to... Third, third guy to win multiple events? Yeah, third guy to win multiple events. That's right. March well, 41? He does well in the Texas area, and he was decent at the Tulsa, at the PGA last year. No. No? He sucks. What's the deal with Mark? No, I don't know. Just fucking drinking too many beers. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I was gonna get the stats. I just don't. I can't find them anymore. Let me see. I mean, big Spain, seventy to one. Yeah. I mean, he was great at Oklahoma State. How close is this to Oklahoma State? I think it's really close. And Gooch said he knows a lot about the course. He was saying he hopes the wind blows because he knows the course so well that if the wind blows, he'll have a big advantage. Let's see. Um, Eugenia. The wind blew. The wind blew at. Southern Hills. Yeah, I think the I think Oklahoma the wind's always gonna blow. I think that's the kind of the way it goes. So I might be looking for wind players. Isn't it, I feel like we should really really consider Mito here. Yeah, I do too. I do too. Chikara T twenty one fairways hit T nineteen and greens and reg. T twenty one and putting T seventeen and birdies. Uh sixteenth and driving distance. Mito. Was 23rd in fairways hit, 3rd in greens and reg, 15th in putting, 2nd uh, in driving distance. Driving distance, that's good. Yeah, he's playing pretty well. Five Finished 5 shots back of the winner. Four, no, 3 shots back of the winner. Yeah, I think he can actually win. I'm not against an 18-1 to 1 Mito. Maybe there'll be better odds somewhere else. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah, 20, maybe 20 would be nice. Is he in the PGA? Yeah, top five yeah, last year. Finished okay. third last year. Yeah, so, hey, that'd be something to watch. I like Mito. Yeah. Okay. Was Neiman show, how was Neiman's stats? Did he show anything? Like, I know he started, to, he finished better than he had been. He finished like 10th, but. No. He needs to yeah. get going. Tenth. Middle of the country. Um, 16th in fairways, 15th in greens and reg. Ninth in putting, eleventh in birdies, thirteenth in driving distance. Yeah. Why does he not drive it far? Uh, I'm not sure. I always like to look at the birdies where they where guys are in birdies there. Yeah, the stats are pretty uh archaic. Yeah. Scott Vincent was first in birdies. Then you had Brooke Sergio Gooch second. Phil Gooch up did, there. Gooch did a lot of his damage putting. Phil second in birdies. Phil's playing great. Yeah, so we'll uh, we'll figure out live. We get we get some days. I mean, it doesn't start till Friday, and it'll actually be on live television, guys. Yeah, I can find it. I mean, I know you guys use your apps for everything else in your life, but you can't you figure it out for this. <laughs> Crazy. All right, your winner is either Spieth or Michael Kim. Boom. Good luck.